Richard Matheson is one of the most influential writers of modern science fiction, inspiring a number of movies from his inventive original stories. In 1954, he wrote I Am Legend. The novel was a bestseller, which received much high praise. The success of this novel would in fact spawn four film adaptations. The Last Man on Earth, The Amiga Man, I Am Legend, and I Am Amiga. I Am Legend is the story about a man, Robert Neville, who is the last remaining human on Earth, living in an apocalyptic world, who is immune to a virus which has turned the rest of the humans into blood-sucking vampires. Neville works on a cure in his boarded-up house and goes out during the day looking for supplies. He defends himself from the vampires with a wooden stake, garlic, and a crucifix. After the success of the novel, I Am Legend, Hammer Films were planning a film adaptation of the hit novel with a proposed title of The Night Creatures, with legendary film director Fritz Lang at the helm. Unfortunately, due to the script's violent and graphic nature, the film was put on hold until executive producer of The Fly, Robert Lippard, was given a script adaptation of the novel by writer Matheson. That script would evolve into the 1964 film starring Vincent Price, titled The Last Man on Earth, directed by B. Picture director Sidney Sauco, and produced as a low-budget horror film, which was shot in Rome, Italy, to save on costs, with the majority of the cast being Italian-speaking, with Vincent Price being the only English-speaking actor. Price plays the main character, Dr. Robert Morgan, originally named Robert Neville in the novel. The film had a similar theme and tone to the book, but was set in the year 1968, and the vampires in the film, unlike the novel, where the vampires were fast and agile, are slow and uncoordinated, acting more like zombies in the film. The low-budget shoot was tough, especially for Vincent Price, who did most of his own stunts Though the film was a faithful adaptation of the book, Richard Matheson was not impressed with the finished film. In fact, he disliked the film so much that he demanded his name be taken off the credits and credited under the pseudonym of Logan Swanson. He decided to uh, revise it and uh, it was still basically the same story, but uh, I, was, uh, I was unhappy with it. and. Uh, uh, I called the Writers Guild and said, uh, please take my name off this. And they said, well, if, if we do that, you, you, lose, you lose residuals in the future. And since I had four children, I thought, well, no, that's not a good idea. So I came up with, uh, with Logan Swanson, which was Logan was the maiden name of my wife's mother, and Swanson was the maiden name of my mother. So that's where he came from. And although he liked Vincent Price, he thought he was miscast in the role and thought the direction was very poor. The Last Man on Earth was released by American International Pictures in the US and in the UK, but did quite poorly at the box office. It did, however, develop a cult following in the years to follow, influencing the likes of George A. Romero, who four years later would direct the 1968 zombie film Night of the Living Dead that he stated was a clear rip-off from the Richard Matheson novel, I Am Legend. In 1971, a second, more edgy film adaptation titled The Amiga Man, a bona fide box office hit starring Charlton Heston, who grew interested in the film after reading the novel by Matheson on the plane traveling to LA. After finding out about the first film adaptation and finally viewing the film, Heston was far from impressed, calling the film unfrightening badly written and badly acted. Heston had a lot of influence in Hollywood at this time, even approaching directors like Orson Welles to direct the film. But it was unknown TV director Boris Sagal, who had worked on legendary shows like The Twilight Zone, who was hired by Warner Brothers to direct. But this time, Richard Matheson would have no input or influence over the way the screenplay was written. Instead, writers John Corrington and Joyce Corrington, known mainly for writing scripts for films like Boxcar Bertha in 1971 and Battle for the Planet of the Apes in 1973, would adapt the script, which was a script with many differences in style, but they would keep the basic premise, 
a much grittier style of film with a lot more action than the first adaptation with that funky 70s vibe to it. This time the film is set in LA, 1977, with Charlton Heston in top form playing the lonely and isolated Robert Neville, with our antagonists this time being albino looking mutants who like the vampires have a sensitivity to light. They are led by the charismatic Mafius, played by Anthony Zerber, who before the virus outbreak was a news reporter. We see this in the film in flashbacks. The mutants hate two things, Robert Neville and technology, and blame them for the downfall of humanity, and every night gather around Neville's barricaded apartment, taunting him. In the original novel, humanity is destroyed by a bacterial plague spread by bats and mosquitoes, where in the Amiga Man, the plague is caused by germ warfare as the result of a border war between China and Russia. The Amiga Man had a lot of Christian symbolism in it, as Neville sacrifices himself for the good of mankind. The film also was considered controversial as it contained the first interracial kiss in a film between Heston as Neville and Rosalind Cash as Lisa, which though not controversial as today, it was considered quite a risk in 1971. Screenwriter Joyce Corrington stated that the character of Lisa, played by Cash, was added due to the rise of the Black Power movement. The film was shot mostly at Warner Brothers, from October to November of 1970, with additional scenes shot around Los Angeles of Neville driving and running through an empty desolate city were in fact shot on a Sunday morning in LA in the business district which at this time was devoid of any people which really added to the feel of the film. Charlton Heston remarked that although the shoot was mostly pleasant director Sagal would often lose his temper at the cast and crew. After the release of the film critics were mixed saying it was too violent and graphic, with some critics praising the director for capturing the stark realism of an apocalyptic world and keeping the film moving at a fast pace. What's not to like about The Amiga Man? It contains some great one-liners by Heston, who through the film shoots his machine gun at mutants in his way. As far as science fiction goes, Charlton Heston was the go-to actor who had already starred in the science fiction hit Planet of the Apes in 1968, and after The Amiga Man was to star in the film set in a dystopian future titled Soylent Green in 1973. Warner Brothers owned the rights to I Am Legend, and in 1995 would begin to develop ideas to do a third film adaptation. The film planning went through many changes, especially with the writing process and they went through a number of screenwriters, including Mark Predosevich, who would write the first draft, setting the story in the year 2000, in San Francisco, and calling the vampires hemocytes, intelligent creatures who are extremely strong, fast, and agile. They hired producer Neil Moritz, and director Ridley Scott, who replaced writer Predosevich with screenwriter John Logan. Scott worked with Logan on a number of different drafts. Their version of I Am Legend was a mix of science fiction and a psychological thriller. The creatures in Logan's version came across more animalistic and barbaric, unlike the first draft of the script, where the creatures were more intelligent. The studio, after reading the final script, weren't impressed and demanded more action and thought the script lacked commercial appeal. Director Scott would cast Arnold Schwarzenegger because he thought he would be great in a more serious role. The studio wanted the film to be a box office hit, unlike their last films, The Postman and Batman and Robin, which were box office disasters. The budget would skyrocket to $108 million. Ridley Scott planned for the film to go into production September of 1997. A rough draft of the original script was made by writer Neil Jemenez and writer Protasevich was rehired to write another draft. Scott also collaborated with effects company Studio ADI on the look of the creatures with amazing production shots made of actors standing in as the creatures in nightmarish looking makeup. 
the original production photos give you a good idea of what Ridley Scott was going for. He also hired famed storyboard artist Sylvian Despretz to sketch out his vision. For fans of the book, Scott's vision and version would have been more to writer Richard Matheson's liking. In my opinion, it was a tragic missed opportunity. Sadly, Ridley Scott left the project, and in August of 1998, a new director named Robert Bauman was hired due mainly to his work as director on the X-Files film. Protasevich again was hired to write a third draft that featured more of an action focus, but Bowman would leave the project and move on to direct Reign of Fire. Arnold Schwarzenegger was still attached to the project as producer and lead star, and negotiations were underway for Michael Bay to direct. However, Schwarzenegger was let go and replaced by Will Smith, but the film was shelved due mainly to Warner Brothers, then studio president, dislike of the script. However, in 2004, screenwriter Akiva Goldsman was asked to head production alongside Jeff Robinov to produce the film. And in September of 2005, director Francis Lawrence was signed on to direct the project and production was planned to begin in 2006. Screenwriter Goldsman was a huge fan of the second film adaptation, The Amiga Man. He would set the film in New York City and developed a 40-page scene-by-scene outline of the film by May of 2006. Delays would occur, but the film would be scheduled for a 2007 release. After production started, it was decided for the third film version to be titled I Am Legend, after the original novel title. During production, constant rewrites to the script were made. Will Smith found the role of the isolated Robert Neville to be quite challenging. This time, Neville is a former US Army virologist working hard to find a cure to a disease which has spread, turning most of the Earth's population into vampire-like creatures called the Dark Seekers. His only company is a German Shepherd named Sam, whom he has developed a very close bond with. The idea of having a dog as a companion was originally in the novel and featured in the first film adaptation, The Last Man on Earth, but was never expanded upon. During filming, director Francis Lawrence felt the Dark Seekers, which were just actors dressed up, weren't convincing and decided to replace these versions of the creatures with CGI versions. However, the actors would remain on set to provide a template for the motion capture. The CGI effects were considered as the letdown of the film. Actor Smith compared his role of Neville to the Bible character, Job, and cited Tom Hanks' character in Castaway as being his main inspiration for the role. The role showed none of Smith's usual comedic style of acting. I Am Legend was released in December of 2007 and was the highest grossing film of the year. Critics thought Will Smith gave an impressive performance in the film, but some critics thought the Dark Seeker effects let the film down, but thought the film had a brilliant script. During the release of I Am Legend, a straight-to-DVD release through the Asylum film distributor was released that was an unofficial and uncredited adaptation of the novel I Am Legend by Richard Matheson. The title, I Am Amiga, was a reference to the film The Amiga Man, the film doesn't make clear if the virus has infected the entire world or just a small isolated area, but it is suggested that the virus is spreading globally. I'm Amiga was one of the better titles that was released through the Asylum film distributor, which was known mainly for their straight to DVD releases, which were generally B grade quality films with titles like Snakes on a Train, Transmorphers, and Super Croc. At the time of its release, in 1954, I Am Legend was a major novel and was one of writer Matheson's great masterpieces, which most definitely made an impact to modern science fiction and horror in literature, film, and television. And it most certainly was credited with popularizing the zombie film genre we enjoy so much today. As far as favorite film adaptations go, 
of the classic novel. I loved The Amiga Man, but in each of the film adaptations, they all had something I enjoyed, and I would love to see Ridley Scott pick up his old film treatment from 1997 and bring his vision to the screen. That would be something I would love to see. My name's Jonathan. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video and like what you see on my channel, please subscribe. And if you would like to become a patron on my Patreon, click on the link below.